13 huge Hollyoaks spoilers for next week. Hey Hollyoaks fans, welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the latest drama from your favourite soap. Today we've got some jaw-dropping spoilers for you. Buckle up, because next week from June 3rd to 7th is going to be a roller coaster. If you love getting the inside scoop on Hollyoaks, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Let's get started. First up, Sienna is in for the shock of her life when a long-lost family member makes an unexpected appearance. The details are tightly under wraps, but trust us, this revelation will send shockwaves through the village. Who could this mystery family member be? And what does their arrival mean for Sienna? Speculate in the comments below. Here's our full guide to 13 big moments coming up. When Sienna realizes she was drugged, Sienna is stunned to wake up on the love boat with Freddy, unable to recall the events of the previous night. She notices blood on her arm after the mysterious antics of newcomer Martha. Concerned, Sienna heads to the hospital where Perry finds traces of a sedative in her blood. Initially, Sienna wrongly accuses James of drugging her, following their argument over Rafe's money. 2. Martha's identity is revealed. Martha spots Sienna clashing with James again and decides that it's time to introduce herself properly, although she keeps quiet about being Sienna's grandmother. The new arrival quickly sparks suspicion by appearing overly interested in the Blake family. It doesn't take long for Sienna to realise that Martha was the one who drugged her. A second revelation follows when Sienna finds out that the stranger is called Martha Blake. 3. Sienna and her sisters demand answers Sienna, Liberty and Dilly team up to confront Martha, demanding to know why she came to the village and what she hoped to achieve by spiking drinks. Their questioning is intense, as they try to get to the bottom of Martha's true intentions, leaving no stone unturned. The trio is determined to uncover the mystery behind her actions and what brought her to Hollyoaks in the first place. They're not just looking for answers, they want to understand the bigger picture and what Martha's endgame is. Later, Martha leaves the village abruptly, only leaving a note behind. This sudden departure hits Dilly hard, as she's been longing for a deeper connection to the wider Blake family. The unanswered questions and Martha's hasty exit leave Dilly feeling more lost and disconnected than ever. It's a tough blow, as she grapples with the unresolved issues and her desire to bond with her family. 4. Warren piles pressure on Stelia, asks James why he has a bandage on his hand. James is pleased when Stay covers for him, as he doesn't want to discuss his painful altercation with Sienna over Rafe's money. Warren is furious that Stay is still in the village when he's supposed to be doing dodgy deals for him abroad. The dangerous villain issues a warning to Stay, making it clear that it's time to start complying with his demands. 5. Norma supports Leela Norma and Leela Bond, as they discuss their experiences of bereavement. Norma also asks Leela whether she'd like to arrange a post-mortem for baby Noah to get some answers about what caused his tragic passing. Joel isn't pleased with Norma for bringing this up, as he isn't sure whether Leela is ready. Leela also receives some support from Stee, although he's struggling to be there for his grieving sister when he has so many other issues to focus on. 6. Stee lets his family down. Stee decides to visit Leela after Perry pushes him to step up, confused about why he hasn't been more supportive. Perry's frustration with Stay is clear, as she urges him to get his act together for everyone's sake. Stay knows he needs to be there for his family, but he's struggling to balance all the pressures he's facing. Just when things couldn't seem more complicated for Stay, Warren drops a bombshell that their latest deal is back on. This throws a wrench in Stee's plans, as it means he has to cancel a trip he'd promised Leah. It's a heartbreaking moment for Stay, who hates letting his daughter down, but he feels trapped between his commitments and the demands of the deal. The tension and guilt are piling up, making Stee's situation even more difficult. 7. Frankie attends her audition. Frankie heads to Manchester for her dance audition, after asking Charlie to sign the consent form for her. JJ follows Frankie there and unsettles her by watching ominously from the wings of the theatre. Frankie feels optimistic about the future, as she hopes to get away from JJ's sinister abuse. She's pleased when she bonds with some of the other girls at the audition. However, JJ reacts badly when he discovers that Frankie will be moving to London if the audition is successful. 8. Frankie faces opposition. Darren and Suzanne are unhappy when they find out about Frankie attending the audition behind their backs. They stubbornly vow that Frankie won't be moving to London. Darren later changes his mind and promises to help Frankie achieve her dreams. But Nancy is less keen and wants her to stay in the village. Amid the arguments over Frankie's future, her family misses the disturbing reason that she wants to get away from JJ. 
Nine. Nancy is suspended. Nancy finds herself in trouble following another worrying incident involving Frankie. She's forced to move out of the Osborne house for a while and is also suspended from her job at Hollyoaks High. Nancy visits the school for a chat with headteacher Sally, who's caught in the middle when Suzanne also shows up. Cindy and Dave, who've let Nancy move in with them, struggle to understand why Frankie is telling lies about her stepmom. Jack sympathises with Nancy after his own unfortunate experience with Frankie in the past. 10. Mercedes heads for a checkup. Freddy updates Mercedes on their secret plan, emphasising that they need to up their game if they want to get Grace out of prison. Mercedes listens, but her mind is preoccupied with Hunter's upcoming funeral. The weight of their scheme and the emotional toll of Hunter's death are both heavy on her heart, making it hard for her to focus solely on their plan. On top of everything, Mercedes is deeply worried about her unborn twins, especially after Leela's recent news, which has stirred up painful memories of losing baby Gabriel. The fear of something going wrong is constantly on her mind, adding to the stress of their scheming and the grief she's already dealing with. Warren steps in to support Mercedes, taking her for a checkup to ensure everything is okay with the babies. They're both on edge, but the relief is palpable when the scan shows two healthy heartbeats. For a moment, the anxiety lifts, and they're able to breathe a sigh of relief, knowing that, at least for now, their twins are safe and sound. 11. Ethan is beaten up. Warren starts keeping a distance from Mercedes, despite her attempts to get close to him again as part of her scheme with Freddy. Mercedes and Freddy are both left suspicious of what Warren is up to. Freddy decides to beat up Ethan at the garage to find out details of Warren's secret plan. Ethan refuses to share any information, but later crumbles in the face of Freddy's threats. He reveals that Warren is working on a secret mission called Project Katie. Later, more evidence comes to light when Freddy and Mercedes break into Warren's van and find something. 12. Donnie tries to move on. Even though the chemistry between him and Mizba is growing by the day, Donnie tries to move on by asking Norma for a coffee. This pleases Zane, but Mizba is jealous, and she questions Donnie's sudden interest in the village gangster. The awkward situation turns into chaos when Mizba, Zane, Donnie, and Norma all end up on a double date at the market. Later in the week, Tom tries to play matchmaker for Zane and Mizba when he finds out that Zane is losing hope for his marriage. There's another bad sign for the future when Donnie arrives home early, announcing that Norma isn't his type. 13. Zoe faces a funeral ban Prince and Teresa come together to start planning Hunter's funeral, with Zoe awkwardly joining the conversation. The tension between Zoe and Prince is undeniable, since they had a fling just before Hunter's death. This makes the already emotional task of planning the funeral even more complicated, as old feelings and recent events stir up a mix of emotions. Despite being urged by Dilly and Mizbah to attend the funeral, Zoe decides to stay away, fearing she'll regret it. They warn her that missing this opportunity to say goodbye could weigh heavily on her later. But Zoe is firm in her decision, not wanting to add to the drama or face the awkwardness head-on. Prince, on the other hand, supports Zoe's choice to stay away. He makes it clear that he doesn't want her at the funeral, adding another layer of complexity to their already strained relationship. It's a tough situation for everyone involved, as they navigate their grief and the complicated dynamics between them. Wow, what a week we have ahead on Hollyoaks. From shocking family revelations to intense confrontations, it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. We can't wait to see how all these storylines unfold. Thanks for tuning in, Hollyoaks fans. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. We love hearing from you. If you enjoyed this spoiler-packed preview, give us a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Hollyoaks updates. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a scoop. See you next time and stay dramatic. See.